So I, I don't want to forget it, dude. <laughs> it was the most fascinating insight I had heard in a long time. And I go through a lot of material, so whenever I hear something super interesting, it's, it's usually pretty cool. So I was reading a book yesterday. It was, um, what was it called? Psycho-Cybernetics. Something like that. I wasn't really into it. It was just one of those self-help books. It didn't, like, pique my interest too much. Um, but then I woke up this morning, and I had this... Part, part of it, the thought, I'm sure it came from that book, but part of it might have come from, like, my dream life or just my subconscious because I thought that um, you're... The conversations that you seek out, like your voluntary conversations, they're, they seem to be like a portal into your, into your mind, into your brain. Like the, the conversations that you seek out are going to be conversations that are on the path you're on. So if you're seeking out conversations with people all the time, I'm talking voluntary conversations where you... See someone like, hey, how you doing? You know, what's going on? Not just an old buddy where you just instantly back to the past. Something uh, voluntary, something new. Um, it was just very fascinating. And I think back on my voluntary conversations. And that's exactly true. Because my only sought out voluntary conversations now are about things like this are about just living a good life you know wanting to be a better person wanting the people around you to do well you know these are the conversations that i seek out hence these are the conversations that i'm having um someone said i think it was in the bible um when you are ready the master will appear that my goodness that is so true and I find that my masters are usually like, not like literally like Zen masters. They're just like people on the street that you interact with and they teach you something new, you know, or you meet someone and they have some good ideas and they're, they're like a good person, you know, and they kind of move your, 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 your path, your body down the direction of the path that you want to go in. Um, so it's not like these old men with beards. It's like, you know, the guy working at McDonald's, he's got an interesting insight that, that I take in and I, you know, I hash it out later in my, you know, my sleep or sometime in the evening when I'm alone. Um, so like the class we go, everyone in there, I'm telling you, is my teacher with it, with there's exceptions, and <laughs> you know there are. <laughs> There's a couple people in there that are not my teacher. <laughs> and I know you know who I'm talking about. So, uh, Canyon Lake is not my teacher. So, <laughs> it's the other people. That guy on the side of the road that was walking was 105 degrees, and I gave a ride to. You know, his insights of the day he's having, you know, He's not pissed off. He's not fucking mad at the world. He's like so appreciative that someone gave him a ride. And he's so happy, you know, that it made his day. It made his world. And his payment to me was the simple conversation that he gave me in that car, in that 10 minute ride, you know. He was even sorry. He's like, no, I'm going farther, man. You don't want to take. I'm like, no, get in, man. I don't care where you're going. Just look at it. You're paying me right now with your conversation. So I ended up taking him to, down to um, Temecula, you know? Who would have thought that? He's going to some super nice house and this is this guy walking in Paris. Anyway, you never know. You never know. So it was just an interesting insight that I had about the conversations that I seek out end up being like primers to my life, you know? Um, it's like an insight. If you look, like I look back and the conversations that I had, you know, five years ago were sports, 
nagging wife, um, girl is, yeah, you know, uh, the, simp the military conversations that they tend to go in, you know, the direction they tend to go in. Um, and I don't have those anymore. I have conversations that lead to real, real insights, you know? Um, and if they don't lead to insights, they lead to inquiry that lead to insights, that lead to knowledge, that lead to wisdom. It's just like this, it's like this road, like this escalator, that if you get on the escalator, it's only going in one direction. And sure, there's, escalators break sometimes, man. You gotta get off and then get back on another one. You know, oh wow, you just do it. You're on the same path, if the escalator breaks, you don't say to yourself, um, uh, I'm gonna go back down, you know, man. I'm gonna see what's down there. I know it's down there, you know. I'm gonna go back down there. I liked it, right? No, I didn't like it. It wasn't cool. And I'm not going back down there. <laughs> I'm getting back on the next escalator. Boom. <clears throat> Eventually, I will get to my goal, you know. Eventually. But, sorry, man. It's early, I know. But I had to get this out of my head. 